Well, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Terrarium here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, we have a fun little mono red deck that doesn't really have Blaze Walkers in it. Yay! Maybe just one, but we don't care about him. But before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us. We love you very much for it. And the link will be down below. Today, we are playing Sun Warriors. And of course, with it being mono red and not having dragons really that much, you play Rain, the Mournful Commander. So exhaust, expel up to two units from your hand, deal uh, damage to target unit equal to the number of cards expelled times 500. So oh, pretty much the max is a thousand. Yeah. You can try to ping something off. But if you need to, you need to. It's yeah. really, really strong. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And of course the new bad boy spirit is spirit of Ursa Tobas. Uh, exhaust, pay two, target unit gains plus 1000 this turn, which is powerful enough. And But if it costs four more, it has destroyer. So. That's pretty awesome. And then, of course, Soul Burst of Unity to all your units get plus 1,000 this turn. Yeah, this little Bear Spirit does a lot more work than you than you think you would. Oh, yeah. Because it, even just being able to be like plus, plus 1,000 for two mana gets kind of ridiculous because it just protects your dude and saves it. Exactly. Uh, the first guy we got out of the deck is a Juvenile Dragon. It is one for a 1,000. If you control two or more other Dragon units, this card gains quickness. Um, it's kind of not going to happen, but... It's just a good 1,000, dude. Yeah. So one mana for 1,000 that can kill some of the towers is pretty strong. Yeah, at least. Uh, Ashborn Sprite, so one drop 1,000. So whenever your opponent plays a spell or uses an activate ability, you may reveal this card from your hand, and if you do, put your hand into play. Also destroys towers, and you can almost play them for free. Yeah, this dude being able to be free is real nice. Oh yeah. Uh, next is the Underlord of the Void Flame. He has two for a 1,500. Um, as additional cost to play this card, you may sacrifice a fire unit with cost two or more. If you do, this card costs two less to play. If you pay the additional cost to play this card, this card gains quickness. So this dude's really cool for the simple fact that you don't have to, but you can and you get extra value if you do. Yeah. So you can just be like, hey, on curve, play this dude and not have to worry about it. Or you can be like, cool, swing with the dude, sacrifice that dude after he swung and get this dead. Yeah. And then swing again because he has quickness. Yeah. Pretty awesome. But to also help... Sacrificing as Exploding Dragon, so two drop 1500, it has Ruin, deal 1000 damage to target unit, so therefore you can be able to kill a dude while killing hopefully two towers at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, next is Ruka, Pugilist of the Holy Flame, she has two for a 1000 unit, um, arrive if you control another fire unit, this card gets plus 500 in Brawler, yep. and when this card declares attack on a unit, if it's if your spirit is fire, you may flip it face up. Which is ridiculous with spirit. Yeah. And with this spirit, you can be like, hey, cool, my dudes are big. Flip your face up. Oh, my dudes are big. Great. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again. You you want to block? Yeah. Thanks. Next, next one, Ashmore uh, Conjurer. It's a three drop 1500. Whenever your opponent plays a spell or uses an activated ability, you may put it into a play of fire elemental token that is 1000. With Ruin, it deals 1500 to damage target unit, which is very powerful. Yeah. Like the fact that you can, you get this guy for free and then you can swing into one of their dudes just to blow it up and just kill it off. Or hit a tower for a thousand. It's oh, all yeah. good. It's super nice. Uh, next is GZ, the Blaze Rusher Squire. He is three for a 2,000. When he arrives, you may expel an air unit from your discard zone and or a fire unit from your hand. If you do, put an explosion counter on this card for each card expelled this way. So for us, we're only going to get the fire from your hand, but yeah. that's fine. Uh, removing an explosion counter from a card you control, this card gains quickness, which is what you're mostly going to do. Um, and you can remove two explosion counters from any cards you control, destroy target tower, and target tower your opponent controls. So you have to kill one of yours and one of theirs, but most often than not, you're just going to remove the explosion counters to give him quickness, which is strong enough as it is, just because you're like, hey cool, explosion counter, it, deal, yeah, kill the tower. Yeah, go 2000 swinging. Yeah. Also always swinging as Rayo Wyvern Rider. It's a four drop 1500, it has quickness, and then ruin, uh, you put into a, a Rayo unit with the 1000 uh, power. That's just good. So you can go in, kill the red tower, you get a, a guy to replace him. Yeah, one of the best four drops in the game for red. Oh yeah. Uh, next is the Void Fire Elemental, also a really good four drop. He is a 3500, uh, he's one of the Omega units, so you have to have a fire unit and you place him on one of your fire units. Um, and then it arrives, it destroys any number of target units and your opponent controls with combined, combined power is 3,000 or less. Ridiculous. This card can kill so much. It does so much for you because it's Omega. 
it has the same clause that it comes into play the same as the card underneath it. So yep. if it's tapped, it comes in tapped. Or if it's untapped, it comes in untapped. Also, because it's Omega, it automatically gains quickness. Yeah. I guess you want to call it if you wanted that, but it just it can auto attack the turn it comes in because it, it has stipulations. Yeah. Um, and really, its stipulation is put on a fire unit, so you're not really going to miss out on anything. And it doesn't have to be a card. So if you have one of those little tokens, you can be like, cool, put this dude on that. Yeah, it and doesn't matter. get free value. And swinging, and the fact that you can be like, kill these two, uh, three, up to yeah. three dudes, like pretty much. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous. The next one is uh, Burning Blitzer, the four drop 1500. It has quickness and destroyer. So this card cannot attack unless you attack with at least two other units this turn, though. But the fact that all your dudes are small, you just can't go in swinging. Mm -hmm. And it has Destroyer, so that's good. And the final card of the deck, of the main creature-wise, is Vehement, the Crimson Guardian. He's five for a 3,000. He's arrived if you have, if there is a Destroy Fire Tower, Destroy Target Unit. So five mm -hmm. minute kill a dude, I will take that all day. Yeah, exactly. You need that guy for sure. All right, the first spell is Void Flame Explosion. Or explosion. It's a two drop insta cast. Play only while you control a fire unit, which hopefully you will always have. Neither player can add to the queue in response to this card, so therefore you can't counter it and you can't react to it. So expel target unit or augment, and if you do, its owner draws a card. You're trading the ability to swing in for the kill for them to have a card. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, oh, your guardian in my way? Yeah. It's gone. It's have gone. your card. Uh, next is Omega Magic Kasai. It is two for an insta cast spell. Deal 1500 to target attacking or blocking dude. And then if you have two or less towers, deal 2000 to target unit. And this card is actually kind of ridiculous if you have two less towers just because it does so much for you. Yeah. If you saw our last brawl, I just used it to kill the 3000 all the time. Yeah. I was just like, I need that dude dead. Exactly. But if your opponent swings wrong, you can also, if in lower cost, then you can kill two people at once. Yeah, too. It, it's rough. Oh, yeah. Speaking of uh, board wiping here is Draconic Eruption. It's a four drop. Deal 1,500 damage to all units your opponents control. And if you control four or more dragon units, you may deal 1,500 to face up tower, but you won't. Probably won't get that. Yeah. So not too bad. Uh, with that, we'll go into the, the shards here. And of course, we have to have the Spirit Ruby. Legendary shard that you exhaust, flip your spirit face down, destroy target unit. And this, with the, the other creature that flips your spirit, you can just... Do keep that. doing it yeah yeah pretty pretty sick as they say <laughs> and then of course we have the wyvern crystal just in case you wanted to bring it back a dragon from the graveyard to your hand discard zone and then the normal argent shards uh of course we do not have sideboard but we usually have honorable mentions and this one is defender of riona it's a two drop 1500 guardian and that's why it's in there because mostly because you just need a guardian sometimes but discard this card from your hand destroy target unit you control and if you do this turn, Riona units cost two less to play. Probably you don't want to do that. But at the start of your draw phase, if this card is in your discard zone because of its own ability, you may put it, this card into play. Mm -hmm. So just in case you have two in your hand, then you can just like have two automatically. So, which is pretty awesome. With that, that is the deck. Uh, the deck list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.